A significant new feature in Astraya Vita is the 3D view. Uh, this view allows us to um, see the features as we're adding them. So we can see, look at our pipe design and we can select different parts of the pipe design and as we do um, the properties appear up here and we can edit these properties for example if we want to change the relative distance here we could change that to say one meter and we'll see it immediately um, has shrunk down the item we selected there we can insert items here so again we can just go up here and we could put a bend in here and we can change direction so if we've got this item selected we can use keyboard shortcut so I can go up go uh, right left down um, back to left again so you can see that we can readily um, see exactly what we're building as we're building it, that it all updates as we're building it. We can zoom in, and here I'm just using the uh, wheel on the mouse to zoom in. Um, if we get ourselves a bit lost or we want to go back, we can always click down here and do auto frame, which will um, resize and locate everything, so everything, the whole pipework is visible. We can uh, also um, pan by just um, using holding the left mouse button down and moving. Uh, we can rotate and this is holding the right mouse button while we move the mouse. And again, we have different perspectives. So this is, we can reset to a front perspective. Uh, let's just hold our friend that. A plan aside, <coughs> or back to the isometric. We can go and um, select a detector and insert another pipe. So let's just insert um, another another pipe there. And then we can move between pipes. And we can choose to show everything or just a currently selected pipe. We can also uh, delete items so for example we can delete this bend here so we can just go up here and delete a bend let me just send that again um, and we can keep we can insert branches at this point so we might just insert a branch here uh, we could extend that so let's just do that again and we'll make that um, 10 meters just to make it something noticeable and we'll put a bend in that one there too and let's just rotate the bend out to the side so let's send that to the left now you'll notice if I double click on something I select everything back up to the previous branch so if I double click here I pick everything of the section if I just double click here I take everything of that main section um, and if I just double click here I'd get the whole pipe so we go back to this one here, double click there, I can actually copy this and go and paste it different places, so let's just do that. So we can paste inserted, say one over here, and that way you can build up um, quite complex structures or just drop pot type structures and just replicate them around um, the tree. I might just just select that just to make that a bit clearer and if we rotate it you can see these types a bit better. So these are some of the ways that things you can do um, when you're working with the 3D view. So basically you can do about all your editing here on the 3D view itself. Uh, one thing you can do and you might occasionally want to do is to change the point where everything zooms around and rotates around and to do that you need to click there so say for example we want to look at this point here you need, we need to click um, with both the left and the right mouse button on that and you'll notice that now when I rotate it all rotates around that point or if I zoom in or out I'm zooming in or out that point 
course, to go back to our standard framework, we just do the auto frame. And you'll notice a difference here when I'm zooming in and out now, I'm zooming around the centre of the network, not the particular point we're just looking at. So the 3D view is a major feature of the Aspire beta release.